Hi, in this video, we'll see about the different elements which are present on Tableau desktop worksheet. Now, before jumping in creating bigger charts, bigger graphical representations, why not learn some items which are present on worksheet? Let us see that. Now, I'll open a Tableau and I'll show you how to create a chart from the scratch. But along with creating, I'll show you the different elements or different things which are present on the worksheet itself. Now, this is the first page which I get. I want to connect to some database. These are different database. Select this Excel and after that, I'll select this sample superstore Excel file. Click on open. In sample superstore file, there are three sheets. One is orders, one is the people and third one is the returns. So I'll select this orders and I'll drag it here. In the previous video, we have seen all the elements related to this uh, data source worksheet itself. Now, after selecting these orders, getting the data here, I'll be jumping to this sheet one. Simply you have to click on sheet one itself. Now, if you observe here, these are some options which are available. It is somewhat similar to your pivot table in Excel sheet. Let me show you the different elements. So first of all, I'll open this Excel sheet which I have. I'll create a pivot table of this data. Insert tab, click on pivot table and click on OK. All right. So this is a blank pivot table and if you see these are the names of the columns which are present here. These are filters, columns, values and rows. So these are divided here and all the fields I can see at one place. Okay. But on the other hand side in Tableau there are different sections which are created. If I open this Tableau, I do not have one field here but I have two fields. One is the dimension and second one is nothing but the measures. Okay. Now what is the major difference between both of them? There are some fields which will not keep on changing. For example, order ID, customer ID, or you can see as your date of birth, your passport number, these fields will never change. So the fields which never changes are known as dimensions. They have been brought and stored into this dimensions. There are some fields which keeps on changing. For example, my weight, my height, my salary, my growth or whatever it is, these are some fields which will, which will keep on changing. So the options which keeps on changing will be stored into the measures itself. Okay. Now I'll give an example here. Customer ID is a column which will never change. It will be constant always. If you see city, country, category of the orders will be the same. Okay. This will not change. So whatever are the constant, those will be shown in the dimensions and those fields which keeps on changing. Let's say discount, profit, quantity, sales. This column keeps on changing. So my Tableau desktop is very smart. It will distinguish between all the fields which keeps on changing and which not and it will distinguish between this dimensions and measure itself, right? So these are some fields which are present here. Now, if you observe at the top Tableau book one, that is Tableau license expires. The book one is nothing but name of my Tableau workbook. Here the name is given as workbook. So if I save it and the name changes and name can be something else. Next one, if you see, I have this menu bar that is file data worksheet and then I have dashboard. These are different menu bars which are present here. Every menu bar will have different options which you'll see one by one all in detail. Below the menu bar if you see there's a toolbar where there are some few options like undo, redo, save, connect to database and all these options. If I keep my mouse there and if you see it says as undo, here it says as undo, this one says as redo, save. These are the options which are present on the toolbar. This one is the dimension, the measures between this data and this dimension. If you see, there's an order which is given here. Orders is nothing but the data which have connected and the fields which have got it here. So if I select this orders, if I click on this orders, if I double click on this orders, it will jump to this particular sheet that is data source sheet. Again, if I click on this place, if I right click or if I just double click on this place, it will be jumping to this order data source itself, right? So that is the database. If you have multiple database here, if you have multiple database, so you can just double click and jump to your database source itself. Now, after that, if you observe here, this is pages, filters and marks. And again, you have columns, rows and this entire sheet which you have. These are known as cards. Everything in the Tableau is known as cards. This is marks card, filters card, page pages card, columns, filters. So if you see here, if I click on this drop down, it says as hide card, which card you want to hide. That is the marks card. If you want to hide it same way, if I click on this filters, if I click on this drop down, it says hide card. That is filters card. You can hide it same way. There's an option given as hide pages card. These are known as shelf. 
these are nothing but column shelf row shelf and that's a sheet which i have so if i click on this drop down and if you see there's a hide cart this is known as cart if you try to bring some option and this place it will become it it names as shelf s h e l f okay for example if i drag the product or if i drag the category from here and put it here and if i press drop down list and if you see the option comes as clear shelf whereas this one is the card and the entire card will have this shelf which is consisting of category option so if you say clear shelf whatever column is inserted in the shelf will go back okay same way if i try to bring this sales in the rows like this and if i click on this drop down it says clear shelf that means if you click on clear shelf this shelf will be empty no column will be inserted there so i'll just click on this clear shelf okay now suppose if i hide this marks card okay if i want to bring it back how do i bring it you can just simply go to this worksheet menu bar and if you see there's a option given as show cards from here what you can do is you can bring this marks card here if you see there's a filters shelf page shelf row shelf and column shelf so if i click on this marks card i can get this marks card back again if i hide this columns if i click on this hide columns card i'll go to this worksheet show cards and if you see there's a column shelf which is given i'll click on this column shelf so now the column shelf is shown here if i want to rearrange i can just simply drag and drop it here okay it can be rearranged itself so that is marks card filters card pages card columns card rows card these are some options given here so on the right hand side if you see there's on the top show me if i click on this show me option these are the different graphs which are visible these are different graphs which you can see and you can create your different data representation also if you want to make it back if you want to come back you can just simply click outside like this or you can just simply click on this show me button so it will hide the card itself right now on the bottom if you see data source sheet 1 so like this you can keep on creating multiple sheets same like excel okay like this if i click on this plus sign it says new worksheet so if i click here it says new worksheet again okay second option if you see there's a dashboard that's a new dashboard and the third one if you see that's nothing but a new story what is dashboard and story we'll see in detail later courses okay now this one if you see that's sheet 2 it's nothing but a title given if i click on this drop down if i click on this drop down it says edit title hide title format title so if i hide this title and if i want to bring back the title again i can go to this worksheet and if you see there's an option as show title so i'll click on this show title and the title come back same way there's a option which i'll get as caption caption will help me to understand what exactly is the chart all about so for that i need to go to worksheet and i can click on this show caption so caption what you can do is you can just type your relevant data or you can type your information what this chart is all about right now for example if i just bring this category here and if i drop it in this place if i bring this sales and i drop it in this place okay now if you observe this is nothing but the category and the sales are given here so here it comes as sum of sales for each category if you think this information is not correct you want to change your the information and write down you can just simply double click on this place and you can type here whatever you want and i can type here as sample data and i'll click on okay okay you see the sample data so whatever data you want to add you can still add at this place so now for time being i'll just say as hide this particular card because i don't want to use it right now right so i hope you able to understand the user interface of this tableau desktop worksheet and what are the different elements how we'll be using this different shelves different cards and different dimensions and measures in the coming part i hope you have understood that's all for this video